welcome back to Vlogmas. What the hell is that? We've got a visitor. Get, get, get him off me! <laughs> oh. He arrived this morning. I hate him. I hate him. Why? Anyway, welcome back to Vlogmas 2021. It is the 2nd of December. I'm really sorry, but I get that thing away from me. <laughs> I, I had my booster jab on Monday uh, and I'm feeling really, really naff. Stop it! Um, so I apologise if I'm all like snuffly and stuff, but yeah, feeling an absolute rubbish and had a really rubbish night's sleep. But anyway, moving on. Let's start the day with our advent calendars. Right, I get to open Harry Potter today because you did it yesterday. Oh, let me show you what it actually was because edited it back, I realised I never did show you. There it is. It is a little privet drive sign with some mail on it. So yeah, cool. Number two. Nothing. Oh. No, where is it? It's there. Ah. So Harry, I don't know how many mini figures of Harry Potter we have got, but there's a lot. But there we go. Put Harry there. Let's do the Castle Green one. I I remember this last year. I'm guessing this is just what they had left over from last year because it's nigh on impossible to see the numbers. There. But I remember having this issue last year. I'm like, where the hell are they? And we've got a star. Um, only in December is it acceptable to have chocolate for your breakfast. You'd think I know where these numbers are on this now, having done it for so many years. <laughs> Coin. That's my coin. And some love hearts. Oh, any task or anything in there today? No. No. Oh well. You stay away from my advent calendar. <laughs> <laughs> and my Lego castle. Just stay away from me. King Kong. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. You dare. <laughs> <laughs> Bugger off! Oh, broke my castle. See what I have to put up with? This isn't just for Christmas. No. This is my life. The plans for today are... Sleep. I, we don't, I don't really have any plans for today to be honest. Rich has got to go sort some stuff out with work. Um, because adult life and stuff. Um, I don't know if... I might go with him and just chill in the car while he sorts his stuff out and then we might try and find something else to do. I don't we'll, quite know. We'll go to Costa while I go to the first one. I got no money. I've got free Costa coffee, it's on my card. Mm. Right, Tina. Mm. 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 free coffee, is that you? Mm. Mm. I've had so much coffee recently though. That's the thing. If you have an electric car like I do and you go on journeys, like long journeys in your electric car, you drink so much coffee because you're forever stopping and charging. Be cheaper to have a petrol car. No, it really wouldn't. <laughs> it's still cheaper, but I do drink a lot of coffee on my drives. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll think of something to do today, and hopefully you'll find out. If not, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> we are in Llandudno this morning. Rich has got to go sort some stuff out with work, and I'm just going to go for a little mooch while he does that because it's better than sitting in the house all day and then yeah we've got to go somewhere else for rich to sort out some more stuff with work in which case i'll have to sit in the car at that one because there's nowhere for me to go and mooch uh but yeah i'm gonna have a little wander around i didn't know maybe go down to the prom grab a coffee and be cold because it's freezing today it's very sunny and very beautiful but it is freezing
had his first little work meeting, haven't you? Yeah. And now we're on our way to Colwyn Bay. So Rich's having another work meeting and I'm going to go for another little meeting and another little wander around Colwyn Bay. So much for days off. Yeah. There's not a lot going on in Colwyn Bay, I'm not going to lie. But we'll, we'll have a little mooch. I'd love a little walk around Candidno, even though it was very cold. But yeah, we'll have a little mooch around the bay and see what we can see. I didn't film anything in Colwyn Bay. <laughs> there really isn't a lot in Colwyn Bay, to be honest. It's not the nicest of places, is it really? Charity shops. Yeah, lots of charity pubs, shops, pubs, shops. coffee shops. It's, yeah, I did do a little bit of shopping. What are you pointing at? Chicago's in, you haven't been there. Yeah, I know. In August. Yeah, I know. I want to see it. Um, I thought you might, that's where I pointed out. Yeah, no, I know, I already knew it was there. It's no, on the I list. I don't know what you know. It's on the list of things that I want to go and see in the theatre. Uh, tell me that you want to know. How am I meant to know? You, I have you told know you. you know? I have told you. I have. You just don't listen. Or you listen, but you don't retain any information. But anyway, like I was saying, I had a wander around the shopping centre, which is very small, and uh, picked up a couple of bits of Poundland that's there. And now we are on our way to Abergele, or in Welsh, Abergele. <laughs> um, and we're gonna go and have a look in the I'm a Slip shop, because I see uh, Gwych Castle, which is in Abergele, is where I'm a Celeb is currently on, and they have opened up an I'm a Celeb shop. So we thought we'd go have a little look and see what's in there and what you can spend your castle coins on. Yeah, let's go. Just for something to do, because it's on our way home. <laughs> Not for any other reason. <laughs> I'm not feeling very well now, <laughs> after quite a bit of walking around. But the I'm a Celebrity Shop was cool, it's small, but there's lots of stuff in there. There's also like Gwick Castle, um, souvenirs that you can buy from the actual castle, not just I'm a Celeb stuff. You can get some photos done there, which we had done, so I will insert them. Or I might already have inserted them. You'll have seen them, you'll see them, something like that. And Rich bought himself and I'm a celebrity camping mug. <laughs> Little tin mug for when we go camping. Again, hopefully at some point next year we'll do a camping trip. We've not done one for a while. So yeah, we are home. Um, I'm probably gonna collapse for the rest of the day on the sofa and probably just watch a film. If I can find anything that will work on our skybox because our sky has not been working since Storm Arwen. Um, we don't have an engineer coming till Tuesday. But before I collapse, and we end this vlog. I thought I would show you some of the new things that we've bought for like the Christmas tree and the decks and stuff. Like we, we haven't bought a lot new this year, but I just thought I'd show you a couple of bits that are new. So I do have a new Tinkerbell star for my tree. It's very similar to the one that was on there last year, but um, I prefer this one because it's white lights as opposed to the other one, which was colored lights. I think this one's prettier, so yeah. That was from the Disney store. We've only got a couple of new actual like decorations on the tree this year. So this, if you watched uh, my cruise haul, we bought this on the Disney Magic Cruise. It's a little Disney ship in a bottle, which I thought was really cute. And then the only other new decoration, if I can find it, hello Tonks, is, where have I put it? Oh, here it is. So this is the Disney store 2021 ornament. Um, so it's just Minnie and Mickey. It, Rich really doesn't like this style Minnie and Mickey, but it came free when I ordered other stuff, so I didn't pay for it. And it's got 2021 written on the back of it. So yeah, those, that's new. Uh, these guys are new, so my gingerbread man and my snowman, they came from Primani. We have a tree skirt for the first time ever. I've always wanted to have a tree skirt, and uh, this was from the range. Uh, you can't really see it because there is a train on top of it, but it's got Santa and it says Merry Christmas. And then this train that goes round underneath when we bother to turn it on is from the Lego Main Street Station and train set. And I just think it's really cute to have a train under the tree. We did buy the Coca-Cola train, 
which is up there to go around the tree uh, a few years ago but the cats just destroyed that um, this one's like a little bit more sturdy so that's why we've got this one under the tree <laughs> and the, the coca-cola chain is just a decoration and then in the kitchen we have got some new Christmassy, well we've never had Christmas like placemats and coasters but we have them this year. Uh, this is from the Asda set. So I got quite a few bits from this kind of collection. So I've got a teapot, don't ask me why I've got a Christmas teapot because I'm the only person in this house who drinks tea and I never make it in a teapot. But I do have quite a lot of teapots, they just are like ornamental. So yeah, we have a teapot and we have this like tray. Again, don't know what I would use that for. I guess if you've got kids, that could be used for like Santa's cookies and milk and Rudolph's carrots. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know why, but I just wanted everything in this collection. The only thing I didn't get was the mugs. And then we have a table runner, which is from the Disney store. Let me take that off so if you can see some of the design. Uh, so it's part of Walt's Holiday Lodge collection. Uh, and it is reversible, so you can have it on this side with all like the the castle and the characters and stuff. Or you can have it on the other side and it's just like this kind of tartan or plaid, whatever you want to call it. And then it's got, let's take a sleigh ride. So you can have it on either side. I preferred it, I think it goes better with these kind of things if it's on this side. It didn't look right having the red when all my other stuff was like gray <laughs> yeah there's that and then in the middle here we have a little like christmas mini christmas wreath now i actually made this um i bought like the wreath from hobbycraft and then bought some bits to embellish it so it's not great but i really wanted like a centerpiece this year on the table and then this in the middle i love this if i pull it up can you see it properly um i'm not sure how well you may say it but it says christmas magic and then you've got the castle Little Sorcerer Mickey, Tinkerbell, and it's got gemstones on it, and it lights up. I just thought that was so, so pretty. And that came from Etsy, and the shop name, I just looked it up, and now I can't remember what it is, bear with. So the shop is called In The Making By Kelly. I will put a link down below. If you can hear that noise, I'm really sorry. That is my cat in the cat litter. She picks the best times to do these things. Um, and it was 15 pounds or there or thereabouts. And I just thought it was so cute. And it is actually, it kind of is like a snow globey kind of bottle. It's got like the snow in the bottom there. But yeah, I just wanted a centerpiece. So there we go. That is my kind of half homemade centerpiece. <laughs> Richard just pointed out that we could use that big plate for like the turkey and like stuff for Christmas dinner, could we? But we're not making Christmas dinner. <laughs> we're going to his mum's for Christmas dinner, so. It's just going to sit there as like a decoration, really. <laughs> right, one more new thing to show you, and then I think I'm going to call it a day. So we have a new reef on our front door this year. Again, I made this. So it came as part of a kit from Hobbycraft. So you got the wooden twiggy reef, and then you got loads of different bits that you could stick on it. And then I just kind of designed this bit. And then I bought this ribbon separately to hang it up, because it didn't come with like a ribbon or anything like that. And I really wanted a nice bow, but there we go. Rich didn't want the... Uh, the tacky Disney wreath on this year. He wanted a nice one, so there we go. I made him one, and I love it. When we finally get round to putting the uh, outside decorations up, which will probably be either tomorrow, well, most likely be tomorrow, I think, we'll put the outside decorations up because we're going to plan this to go and buy a plug, a new waterproof box plug thing tomorrow. So once we've got the outside decorations out, I will show you those. But I think I'm struggling now, so I'm going to call it a day. You're right down there, Rich. Yeah. Okay. I'm just reading something about our holiday. Reading something about our holiday, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to call it a day um, and we will see you most likely though we have vlog tomorrow as well. Thank you very much for watching guys. As always, please thumbs up, subscribe. He's down there. Um, have a magical day and we will probably see you tomorrow. Bye! Wave Rich. He's waving! <laughs>